What up, y'all? It's your boy Scoob, and welcome to Spiders Diecast. Um, I want to especially thank all the new subscribers, um, and also my longtime subscribers, my longtime OGs. Uh, either way, all of y'all are the reason why this channel is still possible. So, thank you very much. And without further ado, I got two of these, you know, great castings from Auto World. I kind of wanted to build up my Auto World collection a little bit. Because, you know, I want to build up, you know, my muscle car side uh, of my collection. As well as, you know, some of my, my land yacht collection. You know, um, I don't really... Uh, go after you know a whole bunch of auto world stuff but you know they do make you know some of the best muscle cars on the 164 uh, diecast market so um, we're gonna open these up but first I wanna show you um, this 1967 Chevy Chevelle SS and this Capri Cream and also um, this 1979 Lincoln Continental Mark V. Also, you know, in this cream color, this cream yellow, pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, these are two that I kind of been had in my eye on for a while. So I'm kind of glad to uh, bring them in, invite them to the collection. Now let's get to cracking, or shall we? Alright, thank you all for your patience right there. And, um, yeah, this thing is pretty, pretty nice. Let's give this a baby a little bit more light. And, yeah, um, kind of glad I got it. You know, both of these, uh, both of these cars, they came from the same seller. So, like, um, why not put them in the cart uh, together? So, that was that. I'll give y'all a little close-up. And yeah, um, the thing about this Chevelle is that, you know, they are uh, the same guy. He, had, he also had uh, a black one. Uh, the one in tuxedo black. But yeah, um, I wanted to get that one too. Because um, that thing looked pretty badass. But, you know, I just didn't want to spend too much money. So I just, but then, you know, um, I kept on looking at this Capri Cream right here. And I don't know, man. I'll get that black one, you know, uh, some other time. Uh, especially if the price is right. But, yeah, um, this cream, you know, it definitely works. They got it just right. And then there's the little glimpse of the engine. Pretty nicely detailed, by the way. They're pretty chromed out, by the way. Yeah, that's nice. Got a little license plate right here. Uh, muscle. Muscle machine. Did that say muscle machines? But anyway, it's there. Nice tail lights, uh, headlights, both ends with the SS logo on. A nice vinyl top, good, cool red line tires, cool wheels. Um, I noticed that the red lines on these are kind of, you know. Um, worn off a little bit but you know it is what it is 
I'm still going to keep this in the collection. Pretty heavy too. As all of these have a metal base. But yeah, this thing is pretty nice though. Definitely going to get that black one too for sure. Uh, we put that aside. So we can open this uh, Lincoln up. Been wanting that one for a while. So, so if y'all excuse me, I'm gonna um, open this up real quick. So yeah, um, here's the interesting thing about, you know, uh, Lincolns for me, you know, you know, I don't really, you know, get too often to the land yachts because they are so damn big. And then, you know, a lot of them, they'd be kind of tacky looking too. Um, but especially the ones from the seventies, but I've always kind of sort of liked these these Lincoln uh, Mark 5's uh, Mark 7's they're a little bit sp uh, more sporty oriented which I uh, prefer actually like a Grand Tour but I just didn't really like the way that that car looked but uh, somehow somehow some way um, I kinda like this one now, these Mark 5's I don't know. It's just something about it. I guess because it ain't quite as stubby as the Mark 7. Um, or as, you know, the too bulbous as the Mark 8. Even though I kind of sort of dig the Mark 8 too, in a way. But yeah, um, Lincolns are pretty big in my family. In fact, you know, we own a, a 2007 Lincoln Mark LT uh, pickup truck. You know, the one that was based off the Ford F-150. Uh, they only made them for like a few years till, you know, they basically called it quits on that one. But, you know, it was a nice little truck for what it was. You know, my brother-in-law, uh, when he got his job as a car salesman, you know, he bought one. Um... He got drunk one night and then uh, wrecked his into somebody's uh, brick mailbox. You you know the brick ones. But, you know, that's... I'm going to leave that as to be another story for another time. <laughs> but, yeah, this thing is pretty nice. Uh, let's up, uh, pop the hood up. I'm back. <laughs> There's the engine. Again, y'all appreciate y'all for y'all's patience. I like the Chevelle's engine a little bit better, but, you know, uh, the Lincolns ain't bad. Man, this car is long. This thing is a beast, man. So, yeah, there's the back end, Continental. Got the little uh, tire hump, spare tire hump. Got 1979 on the license plate. Those are probably classic car tags. So yeah, got the pop-up headlights. And then you got that uh, fantastic Lincoln grill. Well, I shouldn't say fantastic, but you know, you get the drift. You get the point. So yeah, been wanting this in my collection for a while. Nice white wall tires. And then you got those 
sweet opera windows back there. So yeah, I probably get this, get both of these, and you know a lot of these other colors. And here's the size uh, comparison against my um, Mazda MX-5 Miata from Hot Wheels. Yeah, that Lincoln is huge. So yeah, um, there it go with there it goes with that. Same color interior, by the way. Just wanted to point that out. So yeah, uh, that just about does it for today's video. Um, I'm glad I got both of these in my collection. I know I keep on repeating that, but you know, um, can't fake excitement, huh? So without, uh, so I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, I gladly appreciate it very much. So if you want to, y'all want to keep on subscribing and haven't done so yet, go ahead and, you know, hit that subscribe button. Uh, it should blink a little bit when, you know, you say uh, the word subscribe, right? But yeah, um, at least leave a like uh, to get this video out to other people searching for quality diecast content. So yeah. I'm going to get my butt on out of here. And again, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. And have a good one. All right, y'all.